Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1140. Hey, if you want to download this file to follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have a great formula we're going to create. This up here looks like text, but it's a formula. Watch what happens if I change the number here. So that'll change that when I hit Enter. So now it's 4,000. If I change the rate to 5, instantly that changes. Check this out. If I change this to 2, that changed to semi-annually. So that is a dynamic text formula. I'm going to Control Z, Z, Z. Come up here and delete, all right? Sometimes if you want to type it out like this, you can see it. And then create the actual formula, because this is going to be a complicated formula. Look down here. Anytime there's text, that's going to be have to be text in double quotes. These numbers are going to be have to be linked to the cells, right? And we're going to run into number formatting and formulas can't see number formatting problem. So let's go ahead and start a formula. I'm going to click in A1 and type equals in double quotes and then type if you deposited and then a space and an N double quote. So far, we only have one thing. In fact, I could enter this, and it would be a silly way to enter text, right? Put it back into edit mode. I'm going to hit F2, which puts a cursor at the end. Now we're going to continually use the ampersand, that Shift 7, that AND symbol. That AND symbol allows you to join different text items. All right. Now we want to join it if you deposit, so I click on that now. That cell's got number formatting, and formulas can't see number formatting. So of course, when I hit Enter, it's looking at the unformatted number under that. If I click on that cell and click up here, I can see it's got currency. Hey, F2, no problem. There's a few ways we can add dollar signs. But if it's a positive number, I like to go ahead and use the dollar function. The dollar function is specifically built for this situation. It's looking at a number that has currency. The formula can't get it, but the dollar function will look at that 2,000 underneath and then format it. Now, you put, could put comma and then decimals, but since the default is 2, I'm going to close parentheses. All right, so the first function we've seen is dollar. If I change this to 5, instantly that changes Control Z. Hit the F2 key. Now I'm going to continue, because I need to join some more things. Now in double quotes. Now I could do in an account. But one thing about these text formulas, over here I just instinctively, because I do this all the time, put a space. But a lot of times, you will be typing. And when you hit Enter, you will see, uh oh, I forgot a space. So F2, come back and just put a simple space there. All right, so in an account for space. And double quote. Now, so far we've joined three things, one, two, three, but I need a fourth thing. Now I can simply uh, click on that 25. That 25 doesn't need any formatting, so that will work perfect. F2. Now let's continue with another ampersand, double quote, and then I'm going to type years that pay an annual rate of, and then don't forget that space, and double quote ampersand, and I want to click on 3%. Of course, that is number formatting right there. It doesn't see it. F2. So now I'm going to use the most versatile text function for applying a number format in a text formula, the text function. Now, the cool thing about text, comma, is you can put whatever number formatting you, you want there. Oh, wait a second. That means you need custom number formatting. Now I'm just going to uh, suspend this formula for a second by clicking at the beginning and typing a space. Now what if I didn't know what number formatting I used here? Here's a great trick. And in the early years of me doing text formulas, this is how I did it. Clicked in the cell, Control-1. Now notice I use the percentage. I can select any one of these, currency, accounting, date, time. And if I don't know the custom format, I come down here and click Custom, and it will show me. So that's a great way to teach yourself what the right custom number formatting is. So it looks like 0.00, .00 percentage. I'm just going to cheat and copy this, Escape. Come back here, get rid of that space that unsuspends my formula. Now I'm going to come over here, Format Text. 
guess what? That number format has to be in double quotes, control V, and double quote, close parentheses. Now that text formula can look at bloop, that 3% and apply the right number formatting. F2, now we have to continue this, ampersand, double quote. Now look down here, bloop, there's a comma. So I'm not going to type a space. I'm going to do comma, space, compounded. Oh, wait a second. Right now it's monthly. But I need that monthly to change. Right now there's a 12 there, right? So somehow I need some text here that's based on what I put there. Now I'm going to end double quote and hit Enter and come over to the side here. I, for this investment scenario, have annual, semi-annual, quarterly, monthly, and daily. Now I set this up as a table. This is the first column. This is the second column. So I can use VLOOKUP. But I'm simply going to come up here, F2, and use our beloved VLOOKUP. Ampersand and then VL tab. The lookup value is going to be boop, that 12, comma, the lookup table. I'm going to scroll over here, highlight, F4 to lock it. Actually, I didn't need to lock it, but I'm going to leave it locked for the time. Comma, and look at this, it's wrapping down here. So I'm going to whoop, comma, the column index. That means which column in that table do I want to get the thing from. The words are in the second column. I'm going to close parentheses because those numbers in over here in the first column are sorted. I'm never, I'm never going to have them unsorted, so I don't need to put False, I can accept the default true, which is approximate match. That will work. Control Enter. Now check this out. If I type a 2, it says semi-annual. If I say 1, it says annually. That is too cool. So this is a total dynamic text formula. F2, let's go ahead and continue this. Ampersand, double quotes, and it looks like there's a comma. What is the future value? N double quotes. So this is a big, long text formula. We have text in double quotes. We use lots of ampersands. That's the join symbol. Dollar function to apply currency. We didn't need it there. The text function to apply whichever custom number format. And even VLOOKUP to determine a particular word based on a number. Control Enter. There it is. So now I type 6,000 tab. 4.5% quarterly, and it's for 10 years. You've got to be kidding me. If you deposit 6,000 in an account for 10 years, it pays an annual rate of 4.5% compounded quarterly. What is the future value? I use these all the time in tests, right? So I create one template where I then can change the variables and have lots of different questions. All right, that's a little bit of fun with text formulas. We'll see you next video.